Hello, friends. Thank you so much for joining me, Lauren Locke, with Watchmen for the Nations on Face to Face. It's so good to have you with us. We really do enjoy your company and we enjoy being with you right where you are. My guests today, Elaine Caron and David Damien, very close friends who experienced in the Watchmen Walk and the Canadian Walk what Elaine terms a fracture. Before we even go into that, I want to ask them to say hi, and then I'm going to put the question to you, David, straight away. How did you meet? How did you come together? Hi, everyone, and uh, it's so good to be with you. This is uh, Elaine, one of my best friends for many, 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 many years. Actually, since uh, in the early days when I came to Canada, uh, I was, as you all know, that part of our life was not planned. Canada was not in the plan. We came to have our baby and go back. So I uh, traveled with uh, a man that really took me on his heart to mentor me. And at this time, he used to go to a church that Alain is part of. In, uh, at this time, uh, it's a five hours flight from Vancouver where I used to live. So I reluctantly, reluctantly went with him. And at this time uh, with uh, Pastor John Joyal, Pastor John Joyal uh, actually uh, hosted Pastor Bob and I traveled with Pastor Bob and there I met Alain. And uh, we began walking together at this time in different venues, but then our relationship became very, very close. Well, I remember being at gatherings in early days in Canada, and the two of you were quite extraordinary in, Elaine could almost finish your thoughts. So Elaine, how did you come into this place where you were um, David's other half in French? Well, I, I want to say hello to everyone. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. Thank you, Lauren, and to be with David, always a joy. You know, from the early days, I'll tell you really simply what happened. Uh, when David came to our small little church with Pastor Bob Birch, and he was sharing what the Lord putting in his heart, we just loved David. And for me, you can brief it to that. I loved David. I say, who is this man? We were all younger back then, and but already he had that passion and that uh, revelation I I loved hearing I could hear David and hear David and then he started to come more and more in our area camp meetings and stuff and eventually he needed a translator because uh, there were French people coming to the camp meetings and I was already a translator so I started to work with him and I don't know it it be we became very close in 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 no time I remember one time he had hurt his uh, one arm in the camp meeting. I don't know if it was broken. I think he had a cast. And then for me to translate for him, I had pretended I had a cast also. So I would be the mirror image of him. So we just struck friendship. And um, as David started to move towards gatherings, towards that vision the Lord was given him, and impacting Canada more and more, I started to be part and follow this. And I remember one day, it was already a few years that we knew each other. I went to him one evening, uh, it was actually in Ontario. And I said, David, my heart is with you. And that started really a deep friendship that after that, we were always together for about 10 years in Canada. It was hard to see one without the other. And so uh, for me, it was um, this love, this uh, mentorship, if I can say, was my big brother. So it was a pleasure to walk with him and to serve the Lord and, and, and also dream of a vision for the Lord to have uh, his bride in Canada and in the nation. So these were glorious days. It was not only in Canada, Alain, we even traveled in nations together. It, it was, we were inseparable. And I noticed right away because wherever 
uh, whenever I speak, there is a translators in different languages. With Alain, I felt, who is this man? Because when I speak, it's not just someone repeating my words. It was someone that is declaring what I'm declaring in his own mother tongue in the same way. I felt like we are the mouth of two witnesses. The word is declared. And I felt like I could receive the vibe. And we were, we were like almost a synergy that became so powerful. It, you know, when you're under the anointing and when, when you come, uh, one can chase a thousand, two can chase 10,000. So when we are together in this, my revelation begins to be accelerated. And I started <laughs> declaring things and moving things. And then he begins to declare them. And then the anointing falls on me again. And then it falls on him. And it, it was something to watch the chemistry of what the spirit to spirit and with the Holy Spirit and what we walked. It was really uh, we felt we fell in love personally together. We we had very good friendships, talked together, laughed together, joined together. But in the spirit too, we were inseparable. That was something that was very very evident. It was this bouncing between the two that the Holy Spirit would do. I remember uh, the laughter that would come, and it was really quite an extraordinary. Yeah thing that was taking place before the eyes of everybody who was watching and it made everything so even though it was a vision and it was what God was saying and there were times when things were really heavy with the repentance that needed to take place nevertheless it the the, the people who were there who the Lord brought to witness all of this and to add our prayers and to add everything that we were and we were behind you all it was easy because you'd already taken us in. Now I have to say to you, something occurred. Elaine, you called it a fracture. I don't know how deeply you want to go into that. And I'll put that to you, David. There was a fracture that occurred and uh, I'm gonna just leave it with you. You want to go ahead, Alain? <laughs> well, you know, when we are uh, where we are now, uh, past and in in a in a such a beautiful place right now, you you just want to uh, to keep moving. You know, I I can just say that in life, all of us we go through fractures. I I don't believe anyone is exempt. Maybe by the grace of God, but generally speaking, we all go through fractures in our relationships, in our own, own lives. This is part of our humanity. And so a fracture happened uh, in, in the movement, in the way we walk together uh, between David and I at many levels, but personally it affected us uh, very deeply. And we were separated. Uh, we, in, in the sense that we were not walking like we used to walk together before. And that lasted for a while, although we uh, did all we could to forgive, to talk to each other again. And we did to meet with each other many times and with other friends because we want to serve the Lord and, and we love each other. See, the love never went away. See, like in a marriage, for example, sometimes things happen that you are hurt. And uh, the love is still there, but the, the life is not exactly the same. And even if you do all your efforts, there's a sweetness that is gone. There's a, there's a trust that has been wounded. And although you want to trust, you want to be like in the glorious presence you were before, something hinders it. And you cry out to God and and, and you just trust him that he will bring it back somehow, but you don't know how. It's like if when you went so deep in a relationship, anything that is not at that depth will never be sufficient. You can never live with less than what you touched one time. And this yeah. is what we experienced for years. David, I know that you have, I've heard you speak about 
the seed that needs to fall to the ground and the seed that needs to be broken. And even when we look at this, we think to ourselves, perhaps that's not the ideal way for things to have gone, but God had a purpose and things began to develop in Watchmen in a direction. Won't you share that with us? Let me uh, respond to Alain uh, because I, uh, for, for me, Alain and, Alain and I was not seeing each other face to face. It's, it's not the out, outward appearance that we will see in each other. When I see Alain, I could reach to his heart, I could reach to his soul, I could reach to everything. There was that transparency and that way of connecting that I look at him face to face, but I, I'm in him and he's in me. It's, it's a weird thing of oneness. It's like when you walk with uh, your wife intimately or with friends intimately. And when this breach happened or this uh, uh, breaking happened, it was, it was very hard. I could see Alain and I love him, but I cannot see inside. I cannot get deep in the heart and he cannot get deep in my heart. And as Alain was sharing, uh, we did everything Christian can do. We repented, we forgave, we, we even, uh, when we see each other, we speak honorably of each other, we uh, honored each other in front of all people. We never turned each other apart. We never spoke negatively about each other, yet there was a breaking inside. And the only thing I can say is I can look at him, but I cannot reach in, inside deep. It reminds me of my relationship with the Lord. And when, when it's like the face is turned, I can see the person, but I cannot see through. I cannot go deep. And that's the thing that released the cry in my heart and Alain's heart. Lord, would you restore? And because, as Alain said, it went for years. We were courteous. We were... Uh, apologetic and most people that was be, that if they see each other and they speak highly for each other that will be the maximum restoration they have but Alan and I have experienced something that the Lord longed for in John 17 about that oneness that they may be one as the father and the son and we walked in that deeper and deeper and deeper so it was it was uh, when this happened we could not ignore it there is something missing and we didn't let go i said to the lord i'm not going to let go of alan and i'm sure he said the same and we persevered we didn't quit on one another and we said well it's many uh, to be honest many times uh, tears will come down my eyes and i said lord will you ever after years and years it was 10 years 10 years of of uh, walking in this way lord will you ever Will we ever experience what we have experienced before? And I knew uh, for his name's sake, and also because of what uh, uh, our union with the family team in Canada, the Canadian family, and that seed of pure seed was transported to the nations. And I always said to the Lord, if that seed in its brokenness and its weakness have caused that much in the nations of family. Now, if you restore us, what will that seed uh, produce? And I longed for that day. And that's why uh, we never quit on one another. We never let go. Uh, but there was something when I look at Alain, I can see him, but I cannot see inside of him. And that's what broke my heart. I wanted what we used to have one day. David and Elaine, I think that I'm going to ask you to remain, but for now, folk, our time is up. But I want to just remind you of this thing that I hear with both of them. Before the Lord, they refuse to quit. And I would say that to you, in whatever fracture has occurred, take it before him and refuse to quit. God loves that tenaciousness. That's who he is. My guests, Elaine, David, thank you for joining me. And I'm going to see you next time. And friends, I'm going to see you next time too. Thank you for joining us.